Oh wait, CapCut added those special features that we use to enhance our videos as a pro feature, as a premium service. That's not just my problem, I'm cool with that because I mean being a developer, you need to earn from what you do. But the problem right now is that after editing your videos, you will be left with the CapCut watermark which is really annoying for people like us yeah for me i really hate seeing the software logo that i used to edit on my videos but i come with a good news yes and i know that's why you click this video so in this video i'll be showing you another alternative of the CapCut pro and trust me i have used this video editing app for more than a year right now and the app is really doing good and the fact i love about it is that it is a free video editing app so let's remove the crown of the CapCut Pro and crown it to this new application called the VN Video Editing App Blog Now Video Editing App so I'll be taking you through on how to use this app yes and I'll be listing the special features that this app have that the CapCut Pro do not have and also I will listing the special features that the CapCut Pro have but this app does not have it so it's vice versa Yes, so stick around to this video, let me drive it in. So wait, if you're not familiar with the app VN Video Editing App, I'll be doing a full detailed tutorial on how to use this app. So check out the link in the description of this video or in the comment section and watch it. Coming to the number one special feature that this app have that the CapCut Pro does not have is the ability for me to edit my videos when I am offline. Yes, I mean, it's really really tiring whenever i want to edit a video and then i don't have any cash in my this thing i don't have any internet connection i cannot be able to edit in that scrap course pro which is really limiting me why editing yes when this video editing app you do not have to on your mobile data connection in order to use this app and that is what i love most about this application the ability for me to edit while offline another option i love about this app is the ability for me to create a flatter template yes you can customize your own templates and then create it and it will be there forever yes i mean in CapCut pro you do not have this option or do we no we don't another feature i love about this app is the ability for me to use the auto caption yes i mean in other editing app you can use the auto caption but you have to use a data connection you have to have an internet connection in order to add an auto caption to your videos but in this vn video editing app it is a different thing yes i got to create my videos and then add an auto caption to it even when I'm offline when I don't have any data connection in my phone. Yes, like exactly this one you're watching right now. I created it without having a data connection in my phone. Yes, but you only have to download this auto caption. And once you download it, you are good to go. Yes. And the last but not the least is the reason for me to have a template. Yes, but in the CapCut Pros, templates are not available for you if you're not in the region that they like. Yes. For someone like me that is a Nigerian, I do not have the option to have templates in my CapCut. Yes, but for other countries, I think they have. But this VN, there's no limitation. Any country that you are, you have this option to create a template and use other people's templates in your videos. And also, it has a more customized background remover for photos. Yes, let me tell you why I mean. Okay, this is the VM video editing. I'll click on plus and click on new project. I'll click on video base and then I will select the picture that I want to use. Okay, this is the picture right now and then you can see it here already. I'll click on the picture and then I'm going to locate this option cut out. I'll click on cut out and then it's going to remove the background. Yes, you can see it has removed the background from myself and you can see a lot of options here. You can see people and um, animal background sky plants food architecture flower water beach and his this options here is the person that you want it to remove yes i did mean that let me remove this one of person if there's an animal here i'll just click on this option animal and it's going to remove this animal if there is any here but there's no one here so there's no need for me to click it but at least we have sky here so let me click that of sky and then it have removed everything remaining the sky so i don't like it like this let me just inverse it 
so that it, you can see it is I remove this guy sent in there's a plant here let's do that of plant too okay I'll click on invite and can see it I remove the plant and then there's architecture yes there's a house here let me click that of house too and then you can see I'll click on inverse and you can see it have removed the house so these are the things I love about this and then it also have the modified area a customized one that you can use to you can use to erase all by yourself which the CapCut Pro does not have these options so when you are done you can just save it okay and this house is going to look like I can now use just to add another something here maybe let me just duplicate this and then move this one to the upper one why I I replace this one with the background that I like okay let me just do it quickly please don't waste any time click on replace and then maybe I want it to be this background and you can see it has like already been the background okay so that is all Yes, and another feature I love, which is not really that special, but I just love it, is the ability for me to have a customized position for my videos. Let me show you what I mean. So in the VM video editing app, just click on the clip and then scroll left to this option, position. You can see it's right here, position. You click on position and then you can be able to choose if you want it to go up, if you want it to go down. You can also choose the speed you want it to be, maybe 10 times and this is it, yes. Uh, so you have to have uh, the option for it if you want it to be in the middle you click on the middle if you want it to be bottom yes those stuff so that is it yeah and most of the things i have been saying we don't have this option in the cap cost pool. so this one is superior LTV. the third feature i love about this app is the ability for me to create an slt file yes you know what slt file means a subtitle file yes i can get to create a subtitle file for my videos then i can choose to translate it and then save it for another person in another country to watch it so let me show you how to do that in few seconds you click on this blocks icon you click on new project and then you select the video that you want to create the subtitle file the slt file okay i'll click next and then boom the video is already here but i'll just split this video so that it will not take time converting creating the auto caption okay i'll just click on it and then i'm going to scroll to this option auto caption i'll click on it and i'm going to select this to tiny i'm going to remove this from auto dictation to english because i showed the video on english and then i'm going to turn this one on and then it is going to convert immediately <laughs> Okay, you can see how it looks like right now. I will just click on this SLT and then it's going to show me where I will share these files to. I'll click on Telegram because I think it's the only app that works. Okay, I'll just click on Save Messages and then boom. And you can see it have sent it. Then I'll click on this three dot and then I'm going to click on Save to Download and then boom you see it in my downloaded file okay i'll click on file by manager and i'll click view once and then boom you can see the slt file with this slt file i can just i want to use this slt file in a in an app that supports this let's say let me use visual play because it supports slt okay i'll click on video and maybe let me just use the same video that i used okay this is the video you remember i cut it okay so it won't reach the whole duration of this video so i'll click on this place and i'm going to select slt subtitle file and i'm going to locate the one that i saved is on download and then telegram yeah we saved it on telegram i can see it here two of them because i did one in order to experiment it and then you already have the subtitle so let's watch it and see how it looks like oh wait CapCut added those special features that we use to enhance our videos as a pro hope you can see the captions here yes that is an slt file although i didn't edit it because i don't want this video to take any of our time so let's proceed to the next one yes and another tiny feature i love about it is you can lock your clip is it really a special feature for me it's a special feature yes it is 
and the last one is ability for me to export my videos without a watermark yes that is one of the features that i love about this app and it's a free video app that you can export your videos without a watermark in which the CapCut free version does not have this option i mean praising this app telling everything that this app is superior to CapCut pro yes there are other things that the CapCut pro is superior to this app and i will also be mentioning that in this video so that it will look like i'm condemning someone's brand so let's move on now this app have a limitation of ha having just five layers in your videos yes i mean i will call it six because the main clip then another five on top of it but for that of capcos pro you can add unlimited layers in your videos as far as your phone can contain them you can add as many as you want but in this vm video it's an app you only have to add just five yes and also coming to the part of background removing the CapCut Pro supersede the VN. Yes, and I strongly say that. I mean, the VN video editing app have an auto remover, but it's only specified on using just a chroma key. Yes, the only background remover that you can use in the VN video editing app is just a chroma key. Let me show you. Okay, this is the video, uh, VN video editing app. Let me add a clip right now to show you what I meant by that. Okay. Let me just use this particular one. I'll click next and then it's already here. Now when I click on this clip right now and then look for um oh, auto remover. Oh the auto remover is not even included in the main clip. So I'll just duplicate this one and then I'm going to move it up. Okay, I'll click on forward and then it's as an overlay right now. Okay, then I can now choose to use the chroma key. Okay, and then I can see the chroma key. Okay, this is the only auto caption you have. I'm sorry, this is the only background remover that you have on this VM. Coming to that of video, but coming to that of photo, you have a lot of things to customize if it is a photo. But in this case, it's a video. And also to the volume of CapCut Pro, the CapCut Pro have a volume that is up to 1000 but coming to this vn it have just 200 yes and for people like us that don't have that high quality microphone we we increase our volume a lot yes and this 200 is not enough for us i mean in this in this vn video it's app you can create just five minutes videos without it hanging and misbehaving but if you try to exit that five minutes Yes, it will start to misbehave. Yeah, I'm a witness of that. At least you can be able to create a full video. Like this one I'm creating right now, I'm using the VM dating app. Yeah, it might supersede that of five minutes, but trust me, I really went a lot to edit this. So, but, but you can still use it. Yes, I mean, I use it to edit videos that are more than five minutes, videos that are up to 10 minutes, videos that are up to 15 minutes. But I don't want it to go through what I go through to edit my videos. So, it's a no-no for videos that are more than five minutes. So wait, before you go, I'll be doing the part two of alternatives for CapCut. I'll be using another application to compare to that of CapCut Pros. And this application is also free compared to the that of VN. That will be the end of this video. Wait, share this video, please. Share. Don't forget to comment too. Tell me the next tutorial you want me to do. And I'll be glad to do it.